the another problem that we all face is initially the growth is always very slow this is the problem with exponential growth and trust me knowledge building is never a linear kind of growth it is always exponential so in this period if i don't see success if i drop out here itself it won't work out so many students struggle with one topic quant or rc or sc or cr particularly with cr they just don't see any result in the beginning they really struggle at 40% 30 50 60% and suddenly some day a break a break through point comes and it goes to 100 but we don't want to wait for that time that is difficult then critical reasoning by its very nature if you are not good at cr from the very beginning it is a tough topic to master and i have busted more than 2 years trying to understand critical reasoning i did not reach even 10% and when i take something up it consumes me i do 12 14 15 hours a day i have done cr and rc for more than 6 years for 12 hours a day you don't have to do anything because i figured it out for you but you will have to still give to... it didn't improve but you can't just say that no it's not improving it's not for me it's not for me is very easy to say it's for losers anybody can say that thing so we really have to grind it and i'm being very practical here i'm not into motivation of any kind i don't believe motivation ever works any kind of motivation is totally external it dies down probably the next day itself that's why real stories of people who have done real things really inspire me random motivation you can listen to that every morning you can listen to some video every morning nothing happens this is where the exponential part comes we know that okay there are all three things fire ice and water there is analogy given every time maybe i'll just give it again uh in terms of fahrenheit fire if i want to burn paper it happens at 451 degrees fahrenheit even at 450 it won't happen if it is ice if it is melting we know that uh, if something is snow or ice or particularly ice i'm talking about minus 40 degrees centigrade to 0 degree centigrade nothing will happen it won't melt that doesn't mean it's not happening inside it's 32 degrees fahrenheit by the way in american literature you'll find 30 if you are at 31 ice will not melt suddenly at 32 it melts so what was happening from let's say 0 to 32 the heat was building inside building inside and suddenly nothing happens at this if you boil water okay in terms of 100 degrees is the boiling point in centigrade 212 in fahrenheit 99 degrees it is not boiling it is not it is hot but it is not boiling 211 degrees fahrenheit it's not boiling but it is building the same thing you have to wait guys for some things to happen you have to wait instantaneous absolutely instantaneous doesn't happen i read this brilliant book although it's really not about this uh, but for 51 fahrenheit and suddenly paper catches fire suddenly this happens okay we have many examples if you say that i do 100 blows on this stone and on the 101st it breaks those 100 blows were making it weaker but you did not notice because in the first 100 it doesn't break why does it suddenly break in the 101st blow there is something that is building inside same thing here when you prepare very hard for something initially there is no success and that's where we drop we just give up here itself probably a little here maybe we'll drop in motivation same thing ice up to 32 degrees 31 degrees ice will not melt 32 fahrenheit it melts same thing look at this at 211 degrees water is hot but is not boiling but 212 when it comes with steam you can power a train you can power a turbine you can uh, make sure hydric uh, whatever kind of power we have thermal power is just this nothing else frankly so and many times it is said one degree difference in one angle if this difference is one degree i'm making it larger for all of you to see over a distance over a considerable distance can even mean a thousand kilometer distance it can obviously it can you are fire two arrows one degree apart if this is one degree apart they can actually be 1000 degrees apart someday and that's why i give this analogy that oh someone goes to an isb at a decent package someone uh, one of my students uh, whom you heard in the know the world lectures if you attended kellogg 
this guy got a 310k package dollars and this let's say you get a 40 lakh package and nothing wrong with either of them they're both brilliant where will this person reach in 20 or 30 years where will this person likely maybe this person will become a fortune 200 ceo maybe this won't but likely because there is so much difference in the beginning the difference can totally explode and indra noe one of uh, my very admired corporate leaders recently coming up with a book and i just tracked her career back and i just wanted to understand what is happening in the background just 30 years ago she was studying at yale school of management and today she is retired at ceo of pepsi not even an american so that's a, that's an incredible thing Pe- president chairperson and ceo of pepsi 30 years ago she was at yale school of management which means if this had had not been her thing and if i had taken something like this she took this in the beginning the difference between one person who was a classmate would have been this over 30 years this difference is probably that this person is the ceo of one of the largest conglomerates on the planet and the other person would be working decently i'm sure working well but no way close so it's all about making that small change this small change but over a period of time extraordinary results can be obtained after this so please don't ever underestimate this power please guys you may have seen this video already i'm sure in know the world i've shown this watch this again for the power of small things adding up to large things if you haven't watched you will be blown everybody knows about playing with dominoes but what you may not know is that a domino can knock over another domino which is about one and a half times larger so what i have here is a chain of dominoes each one is one and a half times larger than the previous one and the smallest domino is about five millimeters high and one millimeter thick and i will carefully place it and there are 13 dominoes and the largest domino it weighs about a hundred pounds and is more than a meter tall Ready? Boom. That was 13 dominoes. If I had 29 dominoes, the last domino would be as tall as the Empire State Building. Okay, things build on each other. Success builds on success, and that's why. And it's also said number 57 will bridge the distance between the earth and the moon. So this is what we don't want to start small. We just want miraculous results in the very beginning. If your math has been weak all your life, how do you expect math to become outstanding on day one? It will take two or three months. It will take that kind of time. And that's the time I demand of you. You just cannot expect that no day. But we just want to quit. Very soon we want to quit. We just don't want to go through the grind, that extra mile. We want results very fast. I mean, people contact, I have 10 days, 15 days, 20 days to my exam. I'm at 500. And I want a 750 score. I mean, are you who are you kidding, first of all?